throughout my life on radio and television, I've had to do things not just by the book, but by the clock. It's 18 minutes to 10 o'clock. Whether it's managing the precise timings of a radio show or the unstoppable deadlines of live TV, only 35 minutes to go. The rigors of the clock has ruled everything I do, but it's not just me. For all of us, the time we wake, the time we eat, the time we sleep, the time we play is dictated by modern life. We all seem to be in such a rush, constantly running out of time. One in five of us now do shift work, all to provide everything 24-7 society demands, just to keep it ticking along. But odd as it may sound, there's another clock ticking. It's a biological clock, the human body clock. We ignore it at our peril. Tonight, we reveal that inside every one of us is a ticking clock, a body clock, which dictates when we should and shouldn't be doing almost everything in our lives. If you go to the gym early morning or late at night, you might need to think again. Have you ever wondered why alcohol affects you more at lunchtime? Understand the body clock and you'll understand why. I found my vocation at last, pouring drinks. Now incredibly, there's a best time for you to go to work, drive your car, and even go to the dentist. Want to know why? Well, stick with me and you'll find out. This is the ultimate guide to the body clock. The first thing you have to do is to find out what kind of a body clock you have. Are you a lark or are you an owl? A little thing you can all do is to think about what time you like to get up in the morning rather than what time you have to get up. I generally like to get up at about 9am. Um, any later than that I feel like I'm kind of wasting time in bed. 5 yeah. Two, which I'm quite lazy. I actually don't feel human till about 10 o'clock. Most people instinctively know if they're a morning or a late night person. But now, I'm going to take a more scientific approach to find out the timing of my body clock. Have a look at 